You know, we're being told that you need to have experience to be President of the United States. Look at the example of Barack Obama. Barack Obama has been an incredibly successful man, not president, but man in what he's wanted to do. He wanted to take down this country, and he's taken us down. He wanted to turn American against American, and he's turned American against American. He wanted open borders. He's got open borders. He wanted to turn this economic system inside out. He's turned it inside out. People in this country are angry. They're upset. They're anxious. Because of this man, what this man has done and has not done, because of his ideology, which is one of a totalitarian mindset. And yet I read National Review, other Weekly Standard, other places, Trump, 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 Trump. I wish they would turn their guns and their intellectual or pseudo-intellectual attention to the people who've actually destroyed our institutions and are still destroying them. Now, the fact of the matter is, Trump and Cruz and Fiorina and Carson and a whole bunch of them have not been managing the country. They've not been in power or had enough power to manage the country. So what is it about governing experience, ladies and gentlemen, that we need? We don't need governing experience in the context of people who know how to govern a massive, Levian, federal, centralized, iron-fisted, increasingly police state government. We want people who have the character and the courage to undo it. To reverse what's been done. To embrace the Constitution. Fascism and Hitlerism? Trump? Are you kidding me? Un-American? We don't say this about the worst leftists, whether they're on the court or in Congress or in the Oval Office. Well, I've called them un-American. There's no question about that. But Hitler... The ruling class, ladies and gentlemen, marches on. While all this talk's been going on about terrorism and immigration and the, and the slaughter in California, your Republican Congress, particularly in the House of Representatives, particularly under Paul Ryan, has been pushing through one massive spending effort after another. The ruling class. The ruling class is responsible for open borders. The ruling class is responsible for the importation of jihadis into this country. That's correct. The ruling class is responsible for the lack of security in our border. And then fascist, un-American, Trump and Cruz and Hitlerians and all the rest. Well, I'll tell you this. I'll tell you this. Nobody who is, you, has usurped the United States Constitution more as President of the United States than Barack Obama. Not Richard Nixon, who the left loves to hate. Nobody has done more damage to this constitutional system. Nobody has done more damage to this republic than Barack Obama. Yet do people call him these names? The Commander-in-Chief. The commander-in-chief, he looks at California, we now know this Islamo-Nazi woman should never have gotten into this country. The Obama administration's policies failed. The Obama administration's management failed. Not about guns, not about hatred, it's about him and his likes and his ideology. Despotism? Now, we've got real despotism growing in this country. Then they hear Hillary Clinton, her shrill, uh, ear-piercing voice, where she screeches on and mumbles on, attacking Donald Trump, attacking the Republican Party, attacking other candidates. Hillary Clinton, this woman has blood on her hands. Lots and lots of blood on her hands. 
She and Obama are responsible for the rise of ISIS. Not ISIL. I said ISIS. They're responsible. Their policies are responsible. And she dares to run around and lecture us and point fingers. And Obama dares to run around talking about American values, which he rejects. Which he rejects on a daily basis. And I have to read conservatives and pseudo-conservatives wanting to pile on and join the, the crowd. Well, it's Trump. I tell you what, he's a man. Forget about Trump. He has no impact on the policies that are in place in this country. None. And yet they'll kiss up the Paul Ryan. And they'll kiss up the Mitch McConnell. Those men have a lot of say on what's going on in this country. They control the United States Congress. And they've done nothing. Zero. To help secure our border. They've done nothing. Zero. To help protect our military from these vast cuts. They've done nothing. Zero. To help protect our local police departments. From an out of control president who's going through one after another and nationalizing them. Then they tell us Ronald Reagan could never get elected. Ronald Reagan could never get nominated. Are you kidding me? He'd win by bigger landslides than he won in the first place. And I'm sick and tired of hearing from people who tried to stop Ronald Reagan from getting the Republican nomination, citing Ronald Reagan. They never liked Ronald Reagan. That's why even today they run from him. But the ruling class is despotic. You want to use words like Hitler and Mussolini and fascist and all the rest? People using it don't even know what it means, how vile and contemptible it is. You want to use those words? Why don't you use those words on politicians in the ruling class who are actually doing things to undermine our liberty and our security and our rule of law? They dare not do that. They dare not do that on these conservative and pseudo-conservative websites. They dare not do that on Fox News. No, no, no. They'll be, they'll be punished for two weeks. Free game. Call Trump Hitler. Call Cruz a fascist. Call Ben Carson or whatever. Just go right down the list. That's fair game, even for Republicans. Lindsey Graham never told Barack Obama to go to hell. He told uh, Donald Trump to go to hell. Now, who's done more to destroy this nation? Well, Barack Obama. But Lindsey Graham won't tell him to go to hell. No, of course not. Lindsey Graham won't call any of the people, any of the people responsible for ISIS, any of the people responsible for the open border, any of the people who are responsible for managing our security where we've had breaches and Americans killed. He won't call any of them Hitler. When Barack Obama usurps the Constitution, which he does on a regular basis, he won't call him names. I despise this ruling class, and so do you. And this is exactly why you're gravitating toward people who have nothing to do with it. You're gravitating toward politicians who are who are despised, who are persona non grata by the ruling class. And you're right. Because the problems created by big, centralized, iron-fisted government in this country, they aren't created by the so-called outsiders. They aren't created by the Mr. Smiths who've gone to Washington to try and change things. They've been created by the Obama, Hillary, McConnell, Pelosi, Reid, Ryan, Boehner crowd. But of course, these are good people. Oh, they're good people. Just the rest of us. There's something wrong with us. I'll be right back. Mark Levin.